Hello everyone, and welcome to another video tutorial for Lightorama S5. In today's video, we'll be talking about creating an SD card in simple mode using the Lightorama Hub. The opening screen of the Hub gives you multiple options for how to play your show. In this video, we'll focus on using a Showtime Director and SD card to run your schedule, meaning you do not need to dedicate a computer to operating your shows during the season. You will still need a computer and a copy of the correct license level of Lightorama software in order to create your card. To create the SD card, click on Create New SD Card Show. If you do not have an SD card inserted or are not using a brand supported by Lightorama, you will see a prompt reminding you to insert the correct card. All Showtime directors come with an SD card. If you plan to purchase a replacement or backup, Lightorama's official recommendation for purchase type can be found in the description of this video. If you do have a card inserted, the first pop-up that appears when clicking Create New Card will ask you which kind of director you are using for your show. Many directors are in black cases or built into Showtime Central controllers. The Deluxe Showtime Director is usually silver. The Mini Director is not capable of playing shows at a scheduled time, meaning it will play the shows whenever the director has power. A mini director is a perfectly fine choice for many people, but if you want to be able to schedule specific start and stop times for your show, make sure to purchase a deluxe silver director for your display. The next pop-up will confirm where your card is located. The software will automatically locate where your card is inserted, but it never hurts to double check and confirm. Each SD card can hold information for nine different schedules. If two shows are scheduled to play at the same time, the show with the lower number will take priority. Your next task is to decide the order in which your sequences should play. Lightorama defaults to looking for your sequences in the sequence directory that was created when you installed the software. If your sequences are stored in another folder, click this button to change the directory. To add sequences to the schedule, select a sequence on the left, then click the plus sign to add it to the right. You can reorder your shows using these arrows, or remove a show from the schedule. Removing a show from the schedule will not delete the sequence file from your computer. After you've decided on your show order, you can determine when your shows will play. If you have a black mini director, you need to stay with this first option. If you have a deluxe director, you can set specific times for your show to play per day. To change the schedule, click on the day of the week, then change the start and end times for your show. If you want these same changes applied to other days of the week, Check mark the other options at the bottom of the pop-up. Most of the time, you will have your show loop continuously the entire scheduled duration, but if you're interested in a different schedule, you can alter the options in this section. If you'd like to add a one-time sequence to the start of your show, like a welcome message, check mark this box, then locate your sequence. If your show will play when a trigger is activated, you can set those parameters here. At this point, most users will be able to click Create or Update SD Card Simple Mode. It may take a few minutes to build the card, especially if you have a large number of sequences in your schedule or channels in your display. If you are using intensity files, multiple generations of controllers, more than one port on your director, multiple directors, or need to increase your network speed, you will need to create your card in advanced mode. Once the card creation is successful, safely eject your card and it will be ready to use in your show. And that's all for this tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe so that you never miss a notification about new videos.